Pussycats are pearls before the swine of Riverdale. Do you all have to come to the party I'm hosting tonight? In your honor. Let's say 10 o'clock. My hotel room at the Five Seasons. Did somebody say party? Hi there. I'm Riverdale's resident it girl, Cheryl Blossom. You must be Veronica's old school chum I keep hearing about. Nick, St. Clair. Now that's a name I can get behind. 10 o'clock, you said? I'll be there at 11. Betty. What's up? I, uh, I, I went by your house this morning to walk you to school, but your mom said you'd already left. And did he call you again? No, he didn't. Betty! My old friend Nick here is having a little soiree at his hotel tonight. Will you come? Betty is my bestie and the best. I won't take no for an answer. I wouldn't miss it. And then we walk into the Gilded Lily, and there's Gal, again. <laughs> Gal? Godot, keep up, Archie. Archiekins, a refill, see we'll play? Well, I'll forget the teetotaling. Let's move to something with a little more kick. Is that? Jingle jangle? Why, yes, it is. I hooked them up. Tasters, who's up first? Dude, we told you we're not doing Archie, it. don't take this the wrong way, but you are an epic buzzkill. <laughs> Come on, V. Like back in the day? <laughs> Aren't you supposed to be showing me a good time for daddy's orders? Down, Nikki. I'm just getting going. And now that you mention it, I, in fact, wouldn't mind a little sugar to spice up this party. <laughs> what? Every other night, it's burgers and milkshakes. Can't we just cut loose and pretend we're normal for once? I'm in. Me too. Kevin. Pussycats, care to partake? Betty? No, thanks. Come on, it'll be fun. I said no, V. Okay, relax, buddy. This is strictly voluntary. Perhaps we should decamp to the bedroom so as to not corrupt these country mice. You know what? I changed my mind. I'm in. Bravo, Archie Andrews. There's that good, strong Riverdale stock I've been jonesing for. <laughs> Feels good to be running from the devil. Another breath and I'm up another level. It feels good to be up above the clouds. Feels good for the first time in a long time now Alright, let's go Come on, Betty Don't be such a wallflower <laughs> Your boyfriend lives for a night Have some fun Like you, you mean? I was okay. lying there I was gonna say you're making a fool out of yourself Just acting like some privileged shallow airhead party girl. <laughs> Excuse me? Yeah. I mean, it's all just recycled banter and plunging necklines and throwing shade to distract us all from the fact that there's really nothing going on underneath. Betty, what the hell are you saying? Well, we're all thinking that the only reason Veronica hangs out with us is circumstance. She's not our friend. The minute someone from her trashy past shows up, she starts using us for drugs or music or distraction. And why should we be surprised? Like father, like daughter, right? You better shut it down, Betty. Or what, Veronica? You'll have your dad put a hit on me? Or maybe you'll do it yourself. Because you may have fooled all of them, but not me. Try to reform all you want. But you're a bad person, Veronica. You'll always be a bad person. Why don't you just go then if I'm such a monster? I'm fine. Obviously she's not. What, you wanna go after her? Be my guest, but I'll be damned if I'm chasing Betty down after that, whatever it was. In fact, Reggie, turn the music up, will you? <laughs> <laughs> 